Hey guys, I welcome back to the channel. This is going to be part two on the uh, 5.0 Volvo Penta from uh, DT Power Sports Marine in Canada, Greg Hoskin. Uh, he sent his computer uh, about a month or so ago when I did the test and I guess the customer was away uh, on vacation or something and he just got back and approved the repair. So. I am now doing the test after the repair, so I will put the first part on the description of this video so you guys can see the uh, wire, uh, wire diagram. I go into in-depth explanation of how this system works and also praising his diagnostic skills um, because he was 100% correct on the diagnosis on these computers uh, for, for this boat. And that is very hard to find a good mechanic uh, technician on the boat industry that can, uh, you know, evolve and go into deep electronic testing and everything. Because the way he described for me the test that he did on the on the sender and describing exactly that this was analog analog uh, gauge was right in the money. There's nothing to say. I was actually applaud him, Craig. Uh, Craig again. Uh, congratulations. You are a good tech. I will recommend anyone that is around in your area to go visit you. I do, as you can see, repair a lot of marine computers, uh, ECM, so, and I get calls from customers and sometimes from motor mechanics, but you are doing a very good job. Congratulations. All right, going back into the computer, uh, for those that uh, have not seen the first part, uh, the, his concern is the train sender it was shorted. Somebody put uh, an aftermarket gauge and didn't connect it properly, and it damaged the actual output coming out of the ECM. And um, these ECMs are very expensive, very hard to get, and sometimes impossible to get. So we have to be careful when we are working on these computers because they're like a unicorn. So be careful with that. Um, all right, so going into the check for, again, to the ones that didn't see, go back to the first part, like that you understand what I'm about to show you right now, which is the trim sender test. All right, so I have the computer not running. For this instance, I don't really need the computer running, but I can actually indeed have it running. That's not a problem. Let me just give some RPM for like a cranking RPM speed. Let me make sure that values as far as temperature and so on is good intake temperature is a little cold but that will not affect anything i'm looking for the ect yeah that's fine throttle position sensors and my and manifold pressure let me see the manifold pressure yeah that's fine and tps is in four points four percent so that should be good Uh, too many RPMs. All right, as you can see, the RPMs are matching up in the tab, 600 around, you know, idle, the side idle 600, and I have 626. We got all the injectors in there, not a problem. Uh, one, one fault that I will probably be throwing is I don't have the IA connected, but again, for what I have, it's not really necessary. What I'm going to show is indeed now uh, I have the three sender, the trim sender connected to uh, the trim sender is, let me see, the yeah, trim sender is pin 46 on this computer. This is, uh, let me go over to the, I think it's a 90 pin connector. Should have that one ready. Customers, uh, let me see. Ah, uh, a little tired, long days. What happened with the picture right here? All right, these are pretty much the connections that I usually do. As you can see, I take the time to always, uh, I don't know why it's doing that, but well. All right, I take the time usually to, you know, put all my pinouts and everything as I need. Uh, let me see up here, and it says it is a 90 pin. Yep, so it is a 90 pin ECM. The reason I only have in here is 80 is because I don't really need for this computer 
to go more but as you can see i have the ones that i need right in on the right side fuel pump and etc and then communications because it depends on the year i need this connector for communication or depending on the year this other one on this side so i always take my time to do all the homework um now i lost the twin values let me just make sure what i did with that twin sender it's probably behind where are you? You're here, so. Okay, perfect. All right, so what I want to do is now I'm going to reduce this and put the oscilloscope next to it. And now we can see the changes on the signal. Again, this is an analog, so you can. If you want to do a test like this and you don't have an oscilloscope, it's going to be a little hard because uh, this all will do is just change the voltage a little bit so to protect the circuit i have this connected to a ground uh, so the signal is coming from pin 86 and then through a test slide to power so this is actually uh, getting grounded by the uh, driver all right so what we will see right now is that we indeed see the voltage through the test slide on this wiring so on this wire and that's the voltage that we have so i'm going to change now the sender position uh let me just make sure that i'm saying yeah the sender position which is here all i'm going to do is you'll see the sender voltage going low and the sender voltage going up and then we can see the changes on the voltage the same way we move, the voltage will change. Just to make this more noticeable. So I'm going again down. And we can see the change. And if I go up, then we can see the change. Yeah, let me change the, the time base on the screen. We don't need to be in such a short uh, time. Like that, we can see the changes. You see, right? That's exactly what we're looking for. So let me just get in the, back in the screen. So perfect. So yeah, you see. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to see myself and recording. Sometimes I don't know the the best change on 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 there. So again, this is where we're going. This is what the gauge is looking for, right? So that's what the gauge will do. So now the output is 100% fixed. All right. Twin sender, now it's up and down. That's exactly what the gauge will be looking for. All right, correct. Your computer is good to go. I will be putting the cover back, selling it, and then calling you to collect payment. Thank you so much for your business. And again, well done. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.